okay. In the past, I guess in a way, I would be ashamed or maybe too shy to tell some people I am Christian. You know, I would think like maybe they will think that I am strange or maybe they will try to get me into trouble and stuff like that or maybe they would not understand so I think maybe anxiety as well so perhaps those reasons but these days it is like I am more bold with it for instance I believe it was Tuesday and you may think that I go around and talk to as many people as possible which is not true I was kind of minding my own business somewhat being silent and someone was being friendly and asking me questions like what movies do you look at and I don't really look at regular movies I look at movies about God but not really regular movies I think that person asked this question and that question blah 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 and <laughs> I don't really have <laughs> an interesting life I guess earthly wise and I guess that person well yes I guess that person thought it was kind of strange or I was being a certain way toward him so after a, a, a while I told him I was Christian and then when I told him that I believe he said something like oh I can see now you know <laughs> so he opened the door as in gave way to the conversation I believe he started to ask me questions about God I think with most people I tell I am Christian they kind of don't really ask me questions about God but that person opened the door as in gave way to the conversation about God which I was shocked about and what else I was kind of shocked about I guess he is atheist now but I believe I found out that he has I guess a Christian background okay and I was talking to him and I think many people lie I think I have spoke to or contacted quite a bit of people so even if they lie to a certain extent I can kind of know in a way you know the way that you are speaking I believe this is the reason here 
I think for some topics, some people may not want to reveal certain things, so they may tell a lie to try to conceal what the issue really is. And from what I believe, and I believe that to be true, from what I believe, from how that person was speaking and what that, how can I say this? From what that person was saying, it sounded like to me some type of issue made that person not so much made, but I guess influenced that person. I asked if that person is atheist and I think he told me no, and then he answered something like, I don't know what I am, or I can't really tell you what I am. But from how you are speaking, I think it sounds like you are atheist or something like that. I believe that person is atheist. But from how it seems, that person strayed away from God because of some type of issue or problem that person has or is experiencing. Which is a very common, which I believe is a very common thing for many people. I think for much people, it is not that they don't know about God. I think it is just that they refuse, probably refuse to serve God. And I think so many people take advantage of God's grace. Anyways, I think for a time, maybe for some seconds, I forget for how long. I believe I felt the need to convince that person. How can I say this? As if I have to win this person over. If you understand what I am trying to say. Like I have to win this person over to God today. And I think something came to my mind and I forget the exact words. I think it was something like, don't try to do that in so many, how can I say that? Don't see it in that way. Just tell that person what you have to say, but don't feel like you have to win that person over today. Like you gotta, push this person to serve God now. So, sort to speak, sow the seed. Okay. You may be talking to a person about God and you may feel like you have to win that person over that day. Now, I can't really say you should do what I did. Maybe the Holy Spirit is pushing you, I guess, to be a certain way toward a person. But for me, I think for that day, I think I felt a peace come over me with the information about, you know, like tell that person what you have to say, but don't feel like you have to win that person over right now. So if this is the case for everyone, don't feel like, I guess, unless you are told differently, don't feel like you have to win that person over today. 
tell the person the information like okay there are some people I can't really treat everyone the same because I don't think everyone is open to me for me to treat them in that type of way okay for let's say let me name random names if for an example maybe for Jane you know maybe I have more time to talk to Jane maybe I can be a bit more not so much pushy but I can be more like Jane what you need to do is change now because if you don't change, you know, the Bible says, blah, 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 blah. Okay, maybe for Don, you know, I can say, hey, I believe God loves you and he wants you to change. You know, probably for Don, I have to be more light. Let's say Don have, has an anger issue. So I want to tell Don about God, but at the same time, I don't want to trigger his anger issue because if I do that, that is going to take the conversation down the wrong road to where he may not be willing to speak to me again about God. So maybe with Don, I have to feed him bit by bit. Okay, for John, for Jane, maybe I can, you know, give her more. You know, maybe I can be, I guess I can say, for lack of a better word, maybe I can be a bit more strict with Jane. Okay, for Johnny, I guess I can say, for Johnny... Maybe, you know, I have to be halfway, half, half the times I am talking about God to Johnny and half the times I won't. So, I believe it depends on the person. Now, if you are out on the street and you are speaking about God and stuff like that, that may be... A different thing but how can I say this I am not saying to compromise the gospel I am not saying that but give it to people to where they will receive it I rather be able to come to a person and speak to a person about God more than one time than to do something and get that person to never want to speak to me again. Now, I guess in some cases you may have to do what you have to do, but i rather have like that open door thing to where they know they can come to me if there is a problem. There is a person and I am very careful in what I say to that person. Now, sometimes that person wants me to teach that person. And sometimes that person doesn't. But that person knows pretty much they can come to me depending on what I am doing I guess I believe that person knows that person that person can come to me and I will teach that person I want that I rather be a little careful in what I say but at the same time telling that person about God than for me to go full force and you need to get saved. Stop playing around. You are going to go to hell. You know, I'd rather be wise with my words than to blow that person out of the water 
and for that person to never come back to me again. So what I am saying, I think, and I may be wrong about this, and God please forgive me if I am wrong about this, I believe we have to be very wise. Maybe we can't win that person over in one day. Maybe it is going to take some time. Maybe that person may not have a lot of time, but I'd rather be able to continue teaching a person than to get that person very mad and never want to speak to me again. I guess in some cases, even if you are trying to be not offensive, I believe some people may take it in that type of way. But I guess what I am trying to tell you, use wisdom. Use wisdom. Because I think, yes, some people may accept what you have to say quickly, but some people may not. Now, even with that person I spoke to that day, I believe it was Tuesday, even after all of that, that person still didn't really, I guess, from how that person was speaking to me, I guess that person was still speaking kind of the same thing. Whether that person changed his mind or not, I don't know. Now, I could have been, I guess, offended and mad, like, uh, why even speak to me about God if you are not going to receive it, blah, 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 blah. But I was happy because not too often people in public, I guess, are willing to speak to me about God when I tell them I am Christian. I don't think not too many. And I think I had about an hour or half hour to an hour to speak to that person about God. Amazing. So let me stop here. God bless you.